Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the autism spectrum, as well as those of you who are friends, families, peers, mentors, in addition to individuals in the community like professionals and so on and so forth. And finally, I will cover topics that I'm passionate about that are not autism related. Now before I dive into tonight's topic, I have two things to mention. If you click up here in the upper right hand corner, this is a popular video interview with Dr. Temple Grandin. And the name of the video is called uh, Mike Zuckerberg and uh, Overcoming Autism. And I think you guys might want to check that out because Temple always leaves a positive spin on autism. And that's what I like about her. And a second thing I would like you guys to do is check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. You can find those under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. And what I would like to do now before I dive into uh, tonight's topic is apologize out there to all of you adoring fans that listen to a lot of my input and um, take a lot of my advice back with you. And that's because I had a lot of things going on within the last uh, few weeks. In addition to not really feeling like doing any blogging, but last week I finally got myself a little selfie stick and I decided to test it out tonight. And what I would like to do for my first test is uh, give tips and advice out there to family members of an individual with autism. And the reason why I wanted to give tips and advice is because I know from experience that family members are the very core of uh, what uh, feeds us to have better social skills. And I wanted to start off and mention that uh, there are lots of family members out there who absolutely adore us. And they will invite us to dinner and they will call us and they will uh, give us what Dr. Grandin likes to call the loving push. But then you have the other side of the coin where you have family members who don't want to deal. And they can do things like ignore us in public, or they won't call us, or they would rather um, think that they're right and the others are wrong, that autism is a mental illness, and they think that we go off at absolutely everything, and they teach their kids uh, not to talk to us. and. Uh, they exclude us from birthday parties and they don't get us gifts and they act like we're not part of the same family so they don't respect us as a person and rather than helping the individual move forward in their lives what they like to do is act like it's somebody else's big responsibility well I've got news out there for some of you that pull that kind of stuff it is really important whether you like it or not that the other individual is different it doesn't mean that we're a lesser of a person it doesn't mean that we're dreadful it doesn't mean that we're mentally ill it doesn't mean that we're going to go off all the time it just means that we see the world in a much different light it means that we have meltdowns because our routines were interrupted. It just means that we have trouble reading things, unlike your child that probably catches on so quickly. And I wanted to mention out there, for those of you that are trying to turn your children and turn your spouse and your parents against the individual with autism and ignore them and exclude them and shun them, that is absolutely not acceptable. And you should know that they are not a mistake. And if you feel that way, too bad, purple tuna fish. But what you may not realize is that an individual with autism or Asperger's syndrome will often have trouble picking up on certain cues. And some of those cues can include learning the most appropriate social skills. And 
when you teach your child or your other family members to ignore the individual on the autism spectrum, hey, they are missing out on some really, really important things. And the other part too is when you teach your family members to act inappropriately like that, the other individual on the autism spectrum is going to do or display some really inappropriate behaviors, such as um, calling their cousins or calling their brothers and sisters or talking down to their grandparents or hitting, having a temper tantrum or doing other really inappropriate things because you were not there to teach them that it was inappropriate. And you were there instead to be teaching your family members that it's okay to be rude. So you know what the individual with autism is going to do? Yep, they're either going to be rude or we're either going to retaliate. So, uh, now, if you have any questions or comments on what I have just talked about, please be sure to uh, check out my written blogs on wordpress.com or Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Do that anyway, but if you like what I have talked about, please be sure to comment below and share this on any form of social media and check out my Facebook page. And also be sure to, again, check out my written work and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.